Welcome. Welcome. Oh, welcome. 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 Hi, welcome. Columbia. Thank Hello. you. Hello. Um, welcome to AHA, which stands for... Here he did it again. I say it's as humans are, and he says it's just something totally different. Mainly because there's four letters, A-H-A-H. A, -H -A -H. A, human, among humans. Oh, a human among humans. That's us. It's one of my goals in life. I'm getting closer. <laughs> I'm getting closer. These poems help. <laughs> I know. And it's a wonderful. long time. I am 74 years old, and I'm getting closer. Wow. And I, I thank God, I think it's a funny thing to say, but thank God I had this uh, sinus cancer, which finally, because I didn't get the lesson the first time with prostate cancer, or the second time with skin cancer, I finally got, oh my, if I feel my own pain and feel your pain, I can feel your beauty mm -hmm. and mine, finally. Me too. But you're young. You're a spring chicken. Oh, I am. So, cluck, you know, cluck, the other cluck. day, <laughs> the other day, um, Michael urged me as a good friend to go down and get my senior pass. And so I did go down and get my senior pass. And it was um, the wave of humanity. If you want to see a wave of humanity go through that particular right a passage passage it's uh, very interesting to see where people are at the age of 65 or disabled and um, I found myself just joining in and wanting to help so what did you do well there was a, a, a Vietnam vet and he was drunker than a skunk and he was on crutches I didn't know and skunk drink he was and he, he, he refused help, and an old couple went and tried to help him sit down. And he said, no, 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 I don't want to sit down. I don't, I don't need any help. And so he stood up, and he was waiting for his number to come up. And he was standing up, and he was about to fall over. So I went over, and I was the topping on the cake, I think. And I just said, hey, look, look over there. There's a a chair over there, you're about to fall asleep. Why don't you go over there and sit in that chair? That was great. So, you know, all of us- And there's an all of us, dramatic moment, what happens? <laughs> all of us pulling together, you know what I mean? So he took my suggestion. Wow. And he, <laughs> he stumbled over and kind of piled into the seat. And the old people looked at me and then, and then I found, um, Alice Fitzgerald and she was sitting next to me and she had Parkinson's and she was my age and She does Chanos. Do you know what Chanos is? No Chanos is the type of singing That's very very extemporaneous. It's very spontaneous and the Irish do it and they get home or an, on a Friday night and they tell people through moaning and through chanting and through kind of talk speaking, what what their feeling about the week was. Wow. And it's, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing Chano's uh, lessons with her. Yeah. She's gonna teach you. Yeah, she's gonna teach you. I'd be me. interested in coming. Oh, you would? Yes. Oh, great, okay. Okay, great, because she's, uh, she's, she wants it to live on. Oh, because I'd love that. I wanted to do that with my poems too. Oh, great. I'm not sure they're. Worthy of it. Okay, well, that will segue into that. Okay. So here's poem one. Oh, and then you got your, but you got your. Um, I got my senior pass and I've been using it. So happy. Five. And did you know if you're 65 that you can travel to Portland, Maine for 1250 one way? With the senior pass? Uh, I don't, you, you have to have a senior something, oh. but you can, you can go to Portland on the train for 12 On the 50. train? Oh, there's yeah. a train to Portland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gee. 12.50. What about to New York? I don't know. I haven't checked that one. Wow. I haven't gone that way, but I will. 
Right. But I know the buses are 25 bucks or less. And you're saving now, I think, a lot of money each time you use it. Oh, it's a, it's a half the price. Half the price. Yeah, it's a fabulous. Makes you want to take the public transportation. I love the public transportation. I've been taking it every day for photon beam. Every oh, time, yeah, that's right. Week. I'll miss it. Just meeting, instead of staying at home and supposedly writing something important for somebody, <laughs> maybe. See, that's another mm. good thing, Michael. Michael's getting out. And he, nothing, nothing would pull him away from his greediness about yes. poetry. Yes, or, or my dance steps. Fool that I am. Well, speaking of fool that I am, here's one of the poems. <laughs> Instead of going around and helping veterans sit down when they need, I'm assuming it's a veteran, maybe not, uh, or just people, instead of just walking around the streets and doing good deeds to spend time well, writing poems, I, that might be, I might be. I, I'm not even sure it was a good deed, you know, because he got what he needed, his ID, he got what he needed, and then he was about to walk out, and I thought he was going to fall again. And I said, do you, do you want some help? That was not the right word. And he just bucked himself up and took off. Well, I mean, helped. Helped not, you know, I mean, he stumbled off. He that literally helped. stumbled that off. Helped. Anyway, let's read here. OK, or you can, you can, why don't you? <clears throat> OK, aware care. Wounds felt from inside, touched from outside, invite cells, firelight to cook well. How would you say that, Michael? Aware, care. Wounds felt from inside, touched from outside, invite cells, firelight to cook well. I see. Invite cells, firelight to cook well. Didn't quite work. I mean, I was so convinced. I called my, you, you know, I called my tumor George. And I was feeling light and fire. And I don't think I did too much self-massage from the outside. Maybe that would have helped. But it didn't, it, uh, and now I'm just letting nuclear energy pow me every day. I'm so sure I was going to be healed with poems like this. Yeah. Now, how do you would you you are you are an expert at turning these into songs, little tiny songlets? Mm. What would you do? Mm. I don't mean to put you on the spot. Maybe this isn't uh, isn't a material for a song, but knowing you, probably everything's a material for a song. Well, I just got. You're an opera I, singer. Uh, well, I just don't got say, through. Hello. <laughs> Good to see well, you. Know, you. <laughs> well, I just got through a McCloskey Institute, Vocal Institute, and um, the motive power is balance, but the motive power is the breath, of course. And then if there's something kind of blocked up, something some issue that you're having, some raspiness or something, which I speak in a lower register, you know, and I usually go down here. But now I'm teaching. I'm not only teaching voice, but I'm teaching um, pronunciation. So I'm speaking a lot. So I'm learning that if I allow myself, now I said allow, I didn't say make, but if I allow myself the opportunity to become aware of what's going on all over my function, this is my functioning voice. This is what what this is my megaphone. This is my my voice. My voice. If I lopped off my head, the only thing that this would sound would be like a reed or a or a balloon. You know how you pull a balloon. Like that, 
That's what it would sound like. So everything that you and I do, and anybody does right now, is what we've produced. Our resonance is what we have. It's called us. Isn't that amazing? So I just have this reed-like sound. That's it's even nice. reedy. It's like, it's very... Yes, if I lopped off your head, that's that's all that would be. And the rest of it is just what my lips and that and your resonating chambers. It's my sinuses, it's my thing. <laughs> your sinuses too, and if there's something obstructing, like even the tension in your face. Yeah, I've, I've had the tension in your eyebrows. I often often speak hoarsely when there's some emotional challenge. Mm -hmm. which is usually all the time. <laughs> well, and that, that I, I have to tell you that that hoarseness a lot of times comes because there's, there's not a connection with the breath. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh. Maybe. The breath just drops yes. out oh. and the bottom drops out of the voice. And the bottom. Oh. What does that mean? The bottom. See, I, I can feel the hoarseness again. But, but when you were doing, oh, 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 now that came straight from the throat and there were probably lots of extrinsic muscles outside See, you can't muscles. fake, see, I might have faked you out, Columbia, <laughs> but not Susan. But there was something, mm. I sounded a little bit out of balance to me. Yes, dangerous to talk to this woman, can't <laughs> fool her. Now, when I hear this hoarseness now, yes. Notice this. this well, there, there's a aspects. thickness. There's a thickness. There's because thickness now. Not that I am speaking thickly. <laughs> Why no. don't we describe ourselves? <laughs> You're person. thick, Michael. That's no, it. No, not even you. There is thickness now. There I, is. Oh, I, 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 now I'm getting. Now, see, this is the payback. I'm now getting an English lesson. No, no, I'm doing this to me. I was the one who said that. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Thank you for taking on my sins. Okay. Mm. So, so Michael, sometimes there's a lot of mucous membranes. Um, the mucus, the epithelial layer in the vocal folds, the vocal folds go like this. They slap together, and I think I've mentioned this before. But they do this on the pitch of A 440 times per second. Boy, it's hard per work. Per second. Wow. Thank you, so vocal folds. Going very fast, it's faster clapping. than I can clap. They're kind of clapping. Yes, they're flapping together and they're undulating. Every sound we make is self applause. <laughs> it is. That's great. It mm. is. Except when. Uh oh except when it's out of balance. Even then, it's just out of balance of applause. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not applauding at that point. No, it's, 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 it's not. Probably, it's probably scraping or it's probably oh. hurting because there might be a bump inside. She the says it very bones. nicely. Isn't she a nice teacher? You know. You might not be applauding yourself anymore. You might be scraping by, <laughs> bumping along. These are, these are, you know, it's wonderful to be with Michael because everything turns into this kind of land of poetry, you know. Yes. <laughs> soul, heal soul poetry. Yes, scraping along, <laughs> bumping along. Do you want to do another, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but I'd like to do another poem. Go for or it, I'd, yes. I'd like to continue with this one. But see, I did not see invite cells firelight. So the firelight of cells to cook well. So I didn't see that, Michael. Mm -hmm. It's probably the, the poem. I mean, it was probably very obvious. Probably Wounds fell from inside, touched from outside, invite cells firelight to cook well. So, see, I didn't see that. It's called the wear care, too. Let's a little bit about what you've been talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So, um... I, I feel they're all prayers of sort, but they're all, or affirmations. 
I'm telling myself. To... Okay, now we have a new a new poem. A new poem. There, many of them are seventeen syllables. I call them haikus. Haiku. Yeah, H I G H I G H C. Because <laughs> so, I once sent uh, sent ten of them to a haiku journal, and he said these are not haikus. So I decided to get my own name. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Religious. Religious mischief. Religious mischief. Kind of rhymes, doesn't it? You want to read it? For recreation from transitions well, heaven's humor Please raise hell. I'm going to do it also. Religious mischief. For recreation from traditions well, for recreation from traditions well, heaven's humor, please raise hell. Does that make any sense? I'm afraid to ask. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> well, nope. I like recreation. I know it says recreation, but it says something wants me to, to see it as recreation. For recreation from tradition, from, from the well inlaid tradition, Heaven's, you see, now, now you're getting it. Heaven's humor, please raise hell. Don't you see that? Yes. Oh. It was supposed to be both. It could be both. Okay. And you're saying for recreation from traditions well, heaven's humor, please raise hell. How would you say the last part? For recreation, from traditions well, heaven's humor, please raise hell. Okay. Do you get it out there? <laughs> Columbia will let me know. So what I attempted to mean is, I just had it happen this week. I used to have what I thought was God speaking to me in my lonely need for help and guidance and, and some confidence and some pride which turned into arrogance and masking inferiority. But I would hear an inner voice would help me, help me get through life. If I didn't know whether to hold your hand, I'd hear, hold her hand, say hello, ask her out, um, or go to Israel and live there. So. Oh, those are two interesting things. Yeah. Or go to Israel, hold my hand and ask her out, or go to Israel. But, I, but it's, it turned out, maybe this is true for all of us, what was once a great gift, divine, is now um, not to be listened to. That voice will, I have a friend of mine who might need a place to stay, my voice will say, no, don't let him, don't invite him in. Or I might be with a close friend and my voice would say, that we've had enough. Cause, uh, and it's not true anymore. That voice this was such a help to me, which I thought was the, a d divine guidance, is now more that which helped me protect my wounded ego. Past it, pretending to be, I am the great God <laughs> telling you what to do. So I don't trust that. I have to check in and see what I want to do, which is often different. So it's the opposite of um, not my will, but thy will be done. Not, forgive me, I, I do love Jesus and Christianity, but it's, it's, I think it's graduating. I'm not so happy that God wanted my friend Jeshua to go, go in there and get, go onto the cross. It reminds me of 
<laughs> be going into the futon, the proton beam radiation. Go in there, Mikey. Let nuclear energy knock you out. And I come crawling back. And Susan says, good. Go in there again tomorrow. Yes, you can do it. Pow! I'm hit by the... I know. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm I hit mean, by the sun. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? I'm hit by the sun's You're way. trying to do the... I crawl back into the corner. <laughs> and you say, you can... You can do it, Columbia, too. You can do it, Mikey. Go in there again. One more time. Yeah, only 11 more dead rounds to go. Oh. So, I've, so that voice is no longer trustworthy, to say the least. And so that, that voice is the voice of tradition, the voice that tells Joshua to go and get crucified, the voice that tells all kinds of, you know, the voice in the Bible. And... I, in some way that I don't totally understand, oh, I understand it, that voice is a, is a code word to find out what do I really want. Really, really, really want, not just. And I might want that friendship, I do want that friendship to keep going, even though the voice said no. <laughs> right, right. I, are, you, are you saying that, that you're, you have the ability you know me, you know me in my presence, that I, I see the ability to expand the space and open so that both can come in. So both the no, that's what you're saying to me. So both the no, but the feeling of um, wanting him to come can be there. And then for me, if I let those stay, because that, that's uncomfortable. You have one that wants and says it's okay, and then you have the other one that says, no, he can't come and stay. So you have these two things, and it becomes really like a tug of war. Yeah. And maybe there's other things coming in there, too, around those parts. You know, no, I don't want him to stay because I don't know what his hygiene is. I don't know mm -hmm. what his hours are. You know, I mean, all these little kind of things around the no. But then the yes says, yes but he needs a place to stay and it won't be permanent <laughs> we think will it so the other the other uh, part that says no says will it be permanent what are you gonna do someone <laughs> says well i'm sorry i didn't find yes it's a lot so I, I my only way to really do this is to talk it over with people but not trust i guess and to and to know that I do this now. If I hear a voice telling me what to do, I say I got to check in and discover what I really want. I'm not going to. Yay. Finally. Finally. I mean, I, I st it still is in there. So maybe this poem means, this poem from tradition as well, as you hear, you hear the voice of God and you're told what to do. And I want to turn that into I don't know what heaven's humor please raise hell yeah, that 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 voice is in some ways a defense of my ego and hell in the way and I want to be able to maybe as you do to have a conversation with it it's no longer going to dominate you've taught me this on the show but I'm going to have it have a conversation with my yes talk it over with my friends and mm -hmm. then see what really feels right what really and not to feels be right not to be so that's um i don't know why that's humor raising hell it's a little bit that the hell is just being told what to do as if i'm not a free person um no i don't see it as that i I, I see, I see the tr the part that wants to raise hell, is um, kind of rebelling against the tradition, right? Or yes, or or raising tradition into a you know like Jeshua, one of my heroes said, it used to be said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. I say, if they slap you on the cheek. Turn the other cheek, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Jesse might have been into that little 
little, little stopping. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a new way of... <laughs> Okay, so you like it too. Okay, so we move um, on. Yeah, another one. Yeah. Next. Yep. Next. Well, I've got that down. You know, it's crooked on the palate, but it comes out straight. It's I so know exactly good. how to do it. It's so good. Oh, there's. Okay, passing understanding. Could we have a minute and 40 seconds? Silent warrior, penetrating barriers, peace, embrace, time, space. Does it make any sense? Yes. Tell us. Tell me what it means. <laughs> Silent warrior. In other words, the quiet fight fighter that penetrates, that, that works through all the resistance and all the barriers to allow peace and embrace time and space. It feels peaceful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, I'm learning to live this way. You, you do these poems enough times and rewrite them, they sneak their way into you. Yeah, but did I, did I interpret it? Yes. Okay. Well, that, that's good for you because at least one person yes. knows what, how you feel. Yes, at least if, it can, if I can communicate <laughs> to Susan, I can communicate to anybody. <laughs> All right. Would you like to read it, please, before the end of the show? Oh, in 15, 14 seconds. Passing understanding. Silent warrior. Penetrating barriers. Peace. Embrace. 